Do you fault Phil Mickelson for joining the Saudi Live Golf Tour for a reported 200 mil? I mean, what is trying to get, you know, can you bl- can you blame him? Yeah, you can blame him. No, you can't blame him. $200 million. Ooh, it's so much money. It is so much money. But then there's, you know, murdering, moral, outrage, human rights violations. So what what's the balance? You know, uh, you know that I do a great deal of paid public speaking. Yes. Talk about it openly uh, here on the air. Private groups bring me in to speak to their corporate gatherings. Of course. I was thinking, I, I've... Oh, I've if they tried done... to bring you over there? No. No. But what if they did? What if what if the Saudis said to me You couldn't say yes. What if there were a Saudi event and they said like they they're going to offer me some mind bog not like Phil Mickelson money, but right. mind boggling for what I do. Right, right. For right. what I do. You know, and they said, you "Hey, that's you you're selling your soul to the devil. Gonna, you can't do that. We're going to fly you to no. Riyadh." No. And we're going to pay you $100,000. No. First class flight, no. Michael. And we're going to put you up at the four seat wait, wait for this. Wow. We're going to put you up at the four seasons where we locked up all the princes. Do you remember that? Right, exactly. Okay. So, 100 grand first class airfare, four seasons accommodations, everything's on our tab. 100 grand you know, wired into your Swiss account. Would you do that if bin Laden invited you? Of course not. There you go. Okay, then what's your answer about Phil? That he shouldn't do it. Okay, at least you're consistent. Correct. There you go. But he, you know, he, he has a lot of, he, he might have bills to pay.